So has everybody got down some ideas about what it tastes like? You know, this tastes like Coke. This I don't really good. know the taste. I don't really know the difference. Name brand. I like to feel like I'm aware of what the younger generation is doing. Very nimble. To feel like I'm still with it. <laughs> Many of them have learning disabilities and uh, our school is designed to accommodate those disabilities and ensure that they get the education that they need to function in the workplace. The purpose of this lesson is to have the kids think about why they purchase things. One day, you'll be on your own, making your own money, and you need to know what's, what's better to buy, something brand name or something that's quality. It's been one of the hardest things for me in becoming a teacher at a vocational school is, is learning how to create those hands-on linkages to the real world. Even when you're talking about um, the curriculum, we might be discussing a subject like we were just discussing, brand preferences or why you buy something, the conversation will evolve from there into other topics. So this is Autumn, Zena. Pugsley. This is our job board where we assign the kids to their tasks. As you can see, we've got all the basic stuff for grooming. <laughs> Directly behind me is the cages where the bigger dogs hang out with all their beds. Okay, do you want to take Sasha to the big dog park, please? It's called the Dog Daycare Course. It's a four-credit course composed of a three-credit co-op course, which offers students um, information about being in the workplace. So the kids are actually here working in a dog daycare, uh, applying the theory that they've learned in the business course and practicing the skills that they've learned in the co-op course. I tell her to come, she'll come. Or like when I tell her to like, you know, high five, she'll actually do it. <laughs> sit, sit, sit. One day I'm gonna get a dog, hopefully. And it's gonna be like Layla. She's a Labrador retriever and she's the most amazing dog I've ever had in the program. I was scared a lot when I took this class, but Miss Folks calmed me down and stuff, and she's like, you know, just take your time, just have fun, and just do what you do, and do the best as you can. So I said, okay, I will. And the bonds that we get from the dogs here is just, it's unbreakable. No force can break this apart. And in this program, it, it's not about answering math questions, or, I mean, that, that can be part of it. Um, it's not about spelling properly. It's not about, you know, where's the St. Lawrence River on a map. It's, it's about what's inside of them and, and digging that out and finding that. Miss Folks is an awesome teacher. She always gives us good advice, even when we don't want to hear it. I can always go up to her and just say anything that's going on and it's like she helps me out. Miss Folks is like always there for everyone. Do something, do anything. Even if it's not what you thought you were gonna do, even if it's not what you necessarily want to do, do something. She's an all-rounded person, and I love her for it. I would say it's the best job I've ever had. It's the greatest job ever, to get up and go and do something you love. It's not a job, isn't that a quote? I think I read that somewhere.